engine station on space to ground. Docking confirmed. We have a full house. Welcome to Space to Ground. I'm Isidro Reyna. Traffic in space didn't slow down this week, with one vehicle arriving and one getting ready to leave. New crew members Shane Kimbrough, Sergei Rizakov, and Andrei Borisenko successfully docked to the station at the end of last week, bringing the station population back up to six. But while Kimbrough and company are just beginning their four-month stay, Kate Rubens, Takuya Onishi, and Anatoly Ivanishin are about to end theirs. The trio is slated to plummet back to Earth this weekend for a landing in Kazakhstan. As usual, you can watch the entire event on NASA TV and NASA.gov. While temperatures may be dropping here in the States, the growing season on station is year-round. Shane Kimbrough set up the veggie experiment for its next round of vegetable growth. On the menu once more, red romaine lettuce, the same kind that astronauts ate in space for the first time last year. The crew will tend to the plants for about two months with four harvests planned. Veggie is continuing its role in demonstrating the ability to grow plants in microgravity a technique that could provide much needed fresh food to crew members on Mars, spending years away from the planet Earth. This week's question comes from Astrofox, who wanted to know if astronauts on board the station are able to vote. Why don't we ask one in space right now? Yeah, so I will be able to vote. Um, there's actually some uh, fantastic folks on the ground that get me an absentee ballot before I, uh, I launched, and uh, it got sent to my, my home address and the absentee ballot address is low Earth orbit. So I think that's uh, it's pretty amazing. Uh, it's, it's very incredible that we're able to vote from up here. And I think it's incredibly important um, for uh, us to vote uh, in all of the elections. And so, yes, I definitely do plan on voting. Keep sending us your questions using the hashtag space to ground. We'll see you next week.